Hi, I'm Kat Weixel from Peak Group, and today I have an administrator tip on Teams and SharePoint. So if you are a SharePoint administrator, you want to probably be able to see every single site collection that exists in your tenant. And unfortunately, that was not so easy to do if you were using Teams and private channels and you were going to the admin center to look for all of the SharePoint sites that you have. The admin center for the longest time only showed site collections that were kind of normal site collections in the SharePoint world. Um, the team sites, the communication sites, not those kind of special sites that are created just for private channels. So it was a little bit hard to get a sense of what was out there and get a comprehensive view of all the site collections that exist. They've changed that uh, and I want to show you where you can find the information that you need. So if you come to the admin center for Microsoft 365, you'll want to then scroll down on the left and look at the other admin centers find the SharePoint Admin Center. And in here, go to the active sites. Now you're probably very familiar with this as an administrator uh, coming in to see the various site collections and settings that you have. So to get to those private channel sites, you can do this a couple different ways. Uh, from the main list of active sites, you can either first filter just to see those ones that are connected to Teams. So you could say filter by Teams, connected to Teams, and now that's all you're looking at are those Teams connected SharePoint sites. And from there, that should you know whittle down your list, although it really depends on your environment, just how many Teams you have out there. And you can see channel sites uh, among that list. This one here is for our retail team. They have a private channel and therefore they have a channel site. Um, another way that you can do this is just to come to the channel sites column and just sort it larger to smaller so that you can see any of the channel sites that exist in your tenant. So again, we just have the one right now in this demo tenant. So what I can do from here is click on the one site and then it takes me to the details. Obviously, if there were multiple uh, channel sites for that team, it would tell me the number. And then when I click that link, it would show all of the channel sites for the retail team. It's just got the one, so I can see some basic details here. And then if I select this, I get more information on the right-hand side, telling me the general information about this particular site, uh, if there's any activity in it, the permissions and policies, basic information about the site collection. But note that there is this message saying, if you want to manage the settings for this channel, you need to go to the Teams Admin Center. So it's a helpful reminder that really this management um, is done in the Teams Admin Center. So this is at least how you can see a true comprehensive view of all your active sites, including those channel sites. This is something that Microsoft just recently rolled out, I think in 2022. Um, so you should be seeing this in your environment. If you want to go in and look at those details, see who are the members of that retail private channel, um, you could come in and let's go back, let's close the SharePoint Admin Center and we'll go back to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and come down on the left to the Teams Admin Center. And from here, we can go to Teams, Manage Teams. And we can find that retail team here. You could search for it as well, again, if you have a lot of teams. So we'll go into Retail and we can see the usual details here, but if we click on channels, we can see that there is a private channel, which we already know, um, and so maybe we wanna see what the settings are for this specific private channel. 
when we click on that, now we can see the members of just that specific channel. So only two people have access to that private channel. Uh, so this is all connected, obviously. Teams creates a SharePoint site, and if you create private channels, there is a separate site collection in SharePoint for each of those channels, just as a secure way to manage the files for those private channels. And this is how you can come in and see all the details that you need and truly manage your sites in the SharePoint Admin Center and the Teams Admin Center. I hope this helps.